Hello there my fellow Holotable Heroes and welcome to another Territory Battles video guide. So in this one I'll be showing you how I full cleared Sector 3 in Rise of the Empire Territory Battles. If you're interested in again full clear videos for Sector 1 and 2 or any individual guides I created, there will be a link in the description below to my Swag of Life website where you can go ahead and check those out whenever you need to refer to them. Otherwise, we will start today's video on the dark side and we'll make our way through to the mixed and finally finished off at the light side planets. So here in Sector 3, Dathomir is the planet. Um, again, I'm not going to be showing you here um, mods and uh, you know talk about too much about the strategy in theory because I don't want to make this video two hours long. This is just showing you, uh, you know, how I use the teams. I'll be speeding up the footage not to make video too long. Again, if you're interested in any particular special, especially special missions, uh, again, go ahead, check out my individual guides at the link below. Uh, so we'll start off on Dathomir uh, with the Night Sister mission where we need uh, Marin. Uh, now, initially I cre created a guy with Talzin. Uh, but actually with Daka maybe it's a little bit safer to run because you get extra defense as well as extra health for your Night Sisters. We do miss out on a little bit of Plague but these guys they do resist a lot. Uh, so maybe that Plague that we would be applying uh, from Talzin's lead maybe not all that useful. Um, so definitely feels like uh, you know Daka lead maybe is a little bit safer. Things can still go wrong. I mean in first wave uh, nothing really to say here. Um, you know, everybody's reviving all the time, uh, so you just need uh, your Asash to ramp up enough damage uh, that her Aeries start finishing off uh, these guys with low health. So it'll take a while, speeding up the footage quite a lot to be honest. But as you can see, we are slowly uh, getting them down, they keep coming back, uh, which is like what with 50% health or whatever. But then eventually, as uh, I'll show you, uh, Asash starting doing enough damage with her AoE uh, that she skills them off on back to back, just on the surviving. Uh, let's see if we can go ahead and finish him off. Uh, there we go. So heading into wave two. Now this is the scary one. <laughs> um, but as long as you kind of try to keep Dash under control, you will obviously want to dispel their uh, buffs uh, just to slow down Maul out of the gate. Uh, then land tenacity down on dash so you can land uh, a stun on him and then just keep trying to constantly go after dash and the other guys you know hopefully play can take care of them there we go they took they took down everybody then they revived took down daka she was dazed there so she wasn't able to come and heal up but we'll get her back in a couple of turns remember the modifier here on dathomir everybody get revived luckily the enemy they don't have ways to prevent revives so we should be able uh, to hopefully uh, survive here also Daka with her Zeta you know she stacked up her health quite a lot with all these um, deaths and revives that are happening uh, so now you know she will be able to tank all those big hits from dash uh, not just a case of again let the plague uh, spread Keep going after dash just i'm just ignoring everybody else to be honest at this point mole did his thing already uh, at the start of the battle so nothing really uh to do here there we go marion providing nice protection recovery but it's not like <laughs> it's all that useful if dash is like one shotting everybody even at full health and protection uh same thing as we did in wave one just keep using those AoEs with Asajj and hopefully she will ramp up enough to take a few guys down. So you can see Plague working them down, just Kira left. Uh, come on, finish her off, finish her. Come on, uh, this will do it. I think this ignores protection, the AoE from Talzin. There we go. We took down there and completed the Night Sister mission. So this was the most difficult one on Dathomir. The other ones are a little bit easier. Doing the Empire one next. Um, it's the same thing as uh, obviously, well, all the missions here uh, on Dathomir. We have to deal with these revives. Uh, and so whatever team you're using, try to have a ways of preventing revives. And luckily, a lot of these teams on the dark side, they do. Lloyd Vader. Whenever he's uh, in ultimate, uh, whenever enemies uh, die, um, they will not be able to be revived. So that's really the name of the game here. I just keep going after zombie because if you kill zombie, uh, once she's got two, two stacks of those her debuffs, 
then she's not coming back because looks like her ability is not maxed out uh, and then the other now die off after you hit the ultimate anyway they will not be coming back uh, so that's really the name of the game here just keep hitting zombie <laughs> until you get to the ultimate and then you can finish off the rest without worrying them about reviving uh, same thing here in wave 2 just keep uh, going after zombie and then uh, once you hit your ultimate luckily um, we will get very quickly now to the ultimate because we got lots of stack off ready what is it underestimated so you can get quickly to your second ultimate uh, uh, apply it and then night sisters obviously they'll just die not coming back um, just have to now I guess uh, they're finish of zombie and we should be good to go so pretty straightforward uh, this mission if you do have Lord Vader uh, then we're going up uh, now just a generic here mission again same thing we got night sisters have to uh, prevent revives so what I like to do here um, I'm using trench uh, I put weapon tech uh, over a nude so nude gets in a lot of turns spreading extortion and then if, if nude defeats somebody they can't uh, uh, be revived because of the weapon tech and then as well Django anyway because of his Zeta on his unique whenever Django defeats uh, an enemy during his turn they as well uh, cannot be revived so we got two waves of preventing revives and same thing as you will see I'll just keep uh, here trying to line up uh, the Night Sisters in, in like low health so then Django can go ahead uh, finish them off so that's the overall strategy um, there we go keep doing burning again just speeding up the footage so it doesn't take too long there we go Django got the first night sister down uh, she's not coming back from that one uh, finished off their spirit as well so now we're just down to two acolytes and zombie and just keep going after zombie she's not coming back after you take her out multiple times and now again just trying to line up a hits here uh, with Django there we go Newt defeated one acolyte he had weapon tech so she's not coming back now just to finish off uh, one more acolyte and we should be good to go into the wave uh number two come on somebody finish her off there we go just saving my special attacks if i can for the next wave okay there we go uh same same team as all the Darth Vader missions really except the night sisters one uh here what i like to do is try to go after talzin because her aoe can be quite devastating uh, so see if we can keep her under control there we go got a stun let's go ahead and put extortion on her as well there we go let's put an armor shred all right uh, see if we can get us their shock on zombie so she doesn't get a taunt perfect let's go ahead and do a mass assist on talzin uh, get her down uh, let's put healing immunity over on daka uh, see if we can line her up as well uh, to take her down uh, let's see again put a shock on zombie so she does not gain the taunt keep spreading extortion Talzin uh, was revived because it wasn't I think defeated during Django's or Newt's turns that's why she came back but that's fine we have her now in low health so we should be able to line up ahead let's go ahead finish off Daka there with Django she's not coming back from that one um, let's go ahead as well there keep uh, uh, spirit under control putting extortion over there here comes the aoe okay perfect well, come on Django get in here buddy there we go Django with his burning finished off both spirit and Talzin they're not coming back from that one now just a case of finishing of zombie and then as well acolyte and we should be good to go here to get something done with trench trench is one of my favorite teams actually to use in territory battles really fun to use in all the um, phases and then we've got this here mission where we have to use Dr. Afra. Uh, not the most idea uh, lineup. I do not have BT and Trip at Relic 7. They're both at Relic 5. So I'm just kind of using uh, here Dark Side Droids uh, uh, with General Grievous. Cause then anytime uh, a droid ally is defeated, uh, General Grievous gets a bonus turn. So it means we get more turns, uh, which means we get our guys revived earlier from the modifier. So uh, that's how I'm keeping alive here. <laughs> There we go, I'll just keep going. There we go, perfect. Keep smacking those AoEs. Um, now Vader, we got Darth Vader here. Going to go ahead into Merciless. Let's put some more debuffs. And I will just keep going around. Uh, do a bunch of basics. And we can do actually here, um, I guess, another Force Crush. There we go. Uh, 
let's go ahead and same thing i'm just kind of trying to kill off zombie because she won't be coming back after she's defeated with two of her those debuffs and now we just have a uh, few night sisters uh, one night sister less to deal with which allows us obviously to hopefully line up these hits much better we're stacking a lot of damage because of siphon and afra so we were able to finish night sisters off and into the second wave again same night sister squad as previously and they're getting a few hits in they when they get general grievous below 100 health then the health is droid uh, right gets mark on them then when they defeat that that droid with mark then grievous gets a bonus turn so you can really see actually how <laughs> general grievous uh, works here i said probably bt trip would be better but i'm just showing you you know i'm just using what i have here at relic 7 and those guys are at relic 5 i didn't take them further well not yet at least and vader going into another merciless here and just trying to obviously do a round of basics here maybe land some ability blocks um there we go and do another force crush here just get more debuffs out there we go okay gotta just keep increasing cooldowns all right they keep coming back again just speeding up the footage but eventually you do get through them with all the aoe's and everything boom there you go big aoe there from ig vader finishing off taka with a calling blade so this completed now for me uh, Afra mission and then we do have just a generic dark side one. So for this one I use uh, Sith. Uh, the reason why you don't want to use Sith Eternal Emperor lead because if you do it will prevent uh, revives for Sith allies which means once your guys are defeated then they can't be revived. That's why I'm using here Darth Revan instead. I guess you could also use, uh, I've used uh, Palpatine in the past where my Revan was still Relic 5. However, uh, with the leadership from Darth Revan, uh, right, whenever we get somebody below 50% health, uh, the enemy leader gets Death Mark applied on them, and Death Mark obviously does prevent uh, revives. Uh, that's why I think Darth Revan, if you do have him at Relic 7 or above, is a great option here, uh, because obviously we'll be able to defeat whoever is in the link slot, which in this case is one of the Acolytes. Uh, let's go ahead. Hopefully, this should finish her off so she's not coming back. And then uh, again, we'll just keep going here uh, after Zombie uh, because, as mentioned before, Zombie we can actually defeat her here that she's not coming back. And once you get Zombie down as well, then you just have three Night Sisters uh, to line up to defeat within 10 turns, uh, which makes it easier here, obviously, to win. Because aside from the Death Mark, the only way to prevent revives is Pulp's ultimate. But when Pulp is not in his lead, it takes a minute. <laughs> or two or an hour it takes a while for his ultimate to charge up sometimes you do get to it sometimes not uh, but there we go we made it now through to second wave all right same thing tiles in the gas is here the biggest threat really because uh, here we can actually do quite a lot of damage oh, luckily only one acolyte in this one because they hit pretty hard as well uh, again just kind of spitting up the footage here so we're not sitting here for half an hour just keep going after zombie keep getting her down and then whenever uh thousand does get a death mark on her you should be able to finish her off just try to re uh, relink here because thousand we will defeat eventually with a death mark so we don't need to then actually link thousand okay there we go zombie keeps popping her taunt up we keep trying to get rid of zombie uh give me another armor shred so there we go um so a bit of a mistake there uh, i actually had death mark over on thousand but luckily here counter attacks finish off thousand she's not coming back from this one and now same as in the wave one we just keep going after a zombie until we finish her and as you can see actually at this point uh Sif eternal did finally reach his ultimate so now he'll be able to unleash it and then uh defeating uh, whoever's linked that's why you don't want zombie linked because zombie you keep killing over and then uh, you know you will lose link that's why i had constantly linked uh, their spirit as well as daka they're not coming back as well and now we just have two night sisters uh, to finish which hopefully should be a little bit easier to do now uh, we even have uh, pulp's ultimate ready we can relink but obviously link can drop um, but there we go was able to line it up finish her off and that completed the final mission here on Dathomir no ships uh, luckily here because <laughs> on dark side so we'll head over to the mix zone 
on Tatooine. So here we will start with Inquisitor mission. Now yes, I'm cheating here, I do have Reva. <laughs> but again, if you're looking for a detailed guide on this mission, link in the description below. But once you get Reva, it, it becomes easier uh, to do. Uh, we go, we obviously need uh, to hit somebody that's got six stacks of purge. This gives us tenacity up, which then prevents those thermal detonators to keep applying on us. And then we just try and take out scavenger as quickly as we can. Uh, just obviously, once we do drop tenacity up, uh, that he's not uh, able to apply more thermal detonators on us. I don't know, pretty straightforward mission. There we go. Got him down as well. And now we're heading into the last one. Now this is pretty easy. Kenobi by himself can't do a whole lot at this point. I'm just kind of waiting until I get an ability block online and then I can just go ahead and hit auto play at this point and we should be uh, good to go. There we go. He's constantly ability block, can't do a whole lot. Healing immunity, debuffs, galore. Finished off there Kenobi for uh, Inquisitor mission. Then we can go ahead and try the Fennec one. Now this is the one I'm still kind of working out uh, what team to use here because with the introduction of Zepho and trying to obviously clear all of this, your roster is getting stretched a lot because you're limited because of all the Relic 7s. Uh, we go, we're just going to go ahead and do that. Uh, so I've been trying Geos and I had uh, some success with them. It's not 100%. Uh, so I'll see if I can find a different team to use as well. Obviously, the biggest threat here uh, is the damage over times. Um, that's why the idea here is with Geos, we get both. We have got clans from Pogel, a clans from Geo uh, Brood Alpha as well, and then Wampa can cleanse himself also. Um, so that's the general idea here why this could work. But these guys, look how many turns they're getting. They're hitting pretty hard as well. Um, there we go. I might lose my tank here. Oh no, Pogel coming in uh, with a timely save. We just have to survive another turn or so. And then uh, the enemies, they will just die off from damage over time. So anyway, trying to get Shaman down uh, so he doesn't heal up uh, his allies. Okay, he should die. For, so let's just let him be. Okay, perfect. Let's put a hit on Tuscan Elder. So he dies from damage over time as well. Let's finish off Brute. And into wave two with everyone still alive. Looking good so far, I guess. Um, to start off with a basic. Again, just kind of trying to spread the damage and let damage over time uh, do their thing. Uh, I lost uh, my uh, Brute. So let's go ahead and bring him back. Uh, let's get a few attacks out there. Ugh. I just brought him back and already took him down. Yikes. All right. Anyways, we'll just keep going here. Let's see if uh, Wampa's got a cleanse for himself available. Mm, not quite yet. All right. Maybe should have done their basic with Wampa instead of the Roar. So he would heal himself up a little bit with health steal. So maybe a little bit of a misplay here. Uh, not looking too good right now. But as you can see, the enemies, they do have a lot of damage over times. Uh, we got another heal coming here uh, with Poggle. So I'm just trying to work out the two raiders down that they all die from <laughs> damage over time. There we go. <laughs> Was able to just about complete it. So I will take uh, this one. And then next uh, we've got just a generic uh, mixed mission. For this one we can uh, use Supreme Color Ran here. Uh, so all three Kylos are basically immune to all the damage over time damage. So you don't need to worry about them dying from damage over time. However, the enemies, again, they're fast. They hit pretty hard here. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead keep hitting. I do not have like Hux at Relic 7, that's why I'm using uh, Phasma in there. Uh, not the most useful, but hey, uh, at least we can uh, have a full first order squad here. Uh, so we're already into wave 2 now. Now, wave 2, they do have extra protection of these guys, uh, it's a little bit more threatening, I guess. Uh, but on that, we'll just keep poking here. Smashing AoEs, we got ultimate now with Kalos, hopefully we can just ramp up enough uh, while these guys are dying uh, from damage over time. So there we go, perfect. Uh, let's do another AoE, another AoE, and there we go. Poke in the face and down goes the last uh, trooper. So Kalos very, very good here, and we got the Jabba mission. Uh, again, uh, probably not the most ideal Jabba lineup, but I do not have uh, the rest of the HUD cartel uh, at uh, Relic 7, they're just kind of at Relic 5 at the unlock requirements uh, for Jabba. Um, but otherwise, we'll just keep spreading here at the damage, let damage over time take care of these guys. There we go. Boba 
hopefully can nuke somebody as well we got a contract triggered so far so good keeping everybody alive well most of the team alive uh, and i think zam will be revived anyway in the second wave uh, i believe yeah there she is and same to drill just keep those bombs out uh, keep spreading the debuffs just keep spreading the damage and let them die from damage over time so whenever they do take a turn Ooh, that was a big nuke uh, from boba to finish off one of the pirates and the last remaining ship on tatooine uh, is the fleet one um, so we're going to be using executor here uh, it's kind of straightforward but still <laughs> uh, if you do just hit auto play sometimes uh, i can do something silly so i'm just gonna manually play it for the time being all right that's fine okay there we go let's go ahead and uh, do the mass assist here there we go. As you can see, these guys, they do like to resist uh, whatever is resistible. I'm going to go ahead and put now a mark over on Tidevan so we can uh, take it down. Uh, bring in Slave 1. There we go. Perfect. Uh, what they've got for us. Okay, so they brought in TIE Interceptor. How come their TIE Interceptor's got protection and ours doesn't? That's not fair. What do you guys think? Uh, but anyway, we're just working these guys down uh, without any problems. Uh, there we go. Slave 1 finishing off both of them with uh, his AoE. Uh, so that's it, uh, tattooing complete. So let's go ahead and now head over to Kashyyyk, uh, where we will start off with the special mission for uh, So Guerrera. I actually do have Jin now at Relic 7, so I use using her there. So then I can then use Drogon with Leia, where he's supposed to be used. Again, this mission without um, uh, Captain Rex, I think is more difficult than it should be. Uh, but because obviously we do need uh, Captain Rex on Zepho for the clone mission, unless you've got your Bad Batch at Relic 7, um, then this mission is probably more difficult than it should be. But luckily Jean there, she's got a revive, so when they kill off base, uh, base there at the start off, we were able to revive him. So we got again a full 5 man team. Jean is also good, she's got this ability that removes Termiter. And then the amount of return meter removes, she gains herself. She gets a, she can also stun on that ability. So she's actually helping us a little bit here to control uh, these purge troopers here uh, in the beginning. Okay, there we go. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, sure, just basic, I guess. And Kara here is the MVP with her turn meter AoE removal with only two turn cooldown. So her every second turn, she can use the AoE also stunning uh, empire enemies and then whenever we defeat an empire enemy she gains 100 percent meter as well so kara pretty good here for this uh, so special mission there we go we got purge troopers down uh, so the biggest threat is out of here still have to be careful though um there especially probe droid can be annoying obviously if it does come to self-destruct uh, okay so they defeated uh, who was it kara but that's okay a Jean there, we'll bring her back, there we go, and then uh, AoE from base, finishing off everybody, heading into wave 2, uh, where we've got an, just one purge trooper this time, so hopefully this should be more manageable, again, just keep trying, uh, everybody's stun lock, they lost Kara again, Jean bringing her back, so you can see that actually Jean is helping us out here, um, to obviously keep the team alive, with constant revives, and here we go, we got a Perch Trooper down. We now, however, we have to be careful there. We did get uh, the Imperial Probe Droid below 100% health, so I'm constantly trying to keep it ability blocked and st or stunned so it doesn't self-destruct on me. And this completed now some mission, definitely with Jean, it felt a little bit safer than without her. And another mission that uh, can get a little bit tricky, that's the Wookiee one, but again, I do not have the ideal Wookiee lineup, as you've seen in my detail guide for the Wookiee mission. Uh, because I do not have Zalbar uh, and Clone Wars Chewy, uh, but you know I do uh, mod them in a way that uh, my only tank, which is Vander Chewbacca, gets guard applied on him, so he can't be critically hit, and this allows him to keep surviving throughout the battle. Now these battles take a little bit longer than they should uh, because of the modifier here on Kashyyyk. Whenever um, a unit gets debuffed, I believe they recover like 10% uh, protection, and these guys are so durable, so tanky. Uh, that's why they take a while to burn through because of constant protection recovery. We have no way of applying healing immunity on these guys with Wookiees. That's why these battles, they do take a while. But eventually, you know, you do get down. We do have some like stacking 
um, defense and then I think we do more damage based on our defense so you know eventually you do pop a big hit here and there on somebody uh, to finish them off as you can see here trying to finish off uh, Stormtrooper Commander there we go Chewbacca's there uh, max self damage finish him off and there we go we've got now here uh, Night Sister with the two Perch Troopers so let's go ahead and get rid of the taunt and what I like to do is actually take care of the Perch Troopers first and then uh, leave Night Sisters for the end. There we go, we got a stun there. Okay, they got a few assists. Alright, and we got a few assists as well. Okay, as so you can see tanking there without uh, issues so far because of guard on Vendor Chewbacca. Let's go ahead and get some uh, protection up. Oh, there we go, big hit. Uh, just unload an AoE here with 3PO and Chewie. Ooh, that was a big one there, finishing off uh, the first Purge Trooper. Uh, let's see if we can get rid of the second Purge Trooper as well. Just need to get around the taunt. There we go. Come on. Alright. He's in yellow, so hopefully, hopefully one more hit should finish him off. Come on, somebody. Ooh. Here comes a poor probe droid. Okay. Uh, now we have to get around the taunt on probe droid. Let's go ahead and use operations ability. That should put a perch trooper down. Down he goes. And now we just have to keep going after Nine Sister. Again, keep an eye out there uh, on probe droid. Try to keep him stunned uh, when he draws below 100% health so he doesn't self destruct uh, on you too often. There we go. That completed now for me the Wookiee mission. So we can move on onto the remaining two. Uh, generic light side missions. So for this one, uh, we'll be using a uh, Jedi Master Kenobi. Um, what I like to do to start off is actually put a damage immunity over on General Kenobi so he can take the initial barrage and we can worry about uh, insta killing uh, later, I guess. Um, but otherwise, pretty straightforward going after, I guess, Scout Trooper first because he seems to be the weakest. I, d I do like Anakin uh, and Padme combo here. Um, well, my uh, Padawan Ahsoka is not Relic 7, anyways. But obviously, whenever somebody drops below 50% uh, health, Anakin gets a bonus turn, then Padme gets a bonus turn, she can heal up. Uh, then also, uh, while Padme is present, Anakin's AoE uh, will uh, as well dispel all buffs on all enemies, which is pretty nice. It's how you can get around taunts quite easily. Uh, already into wave number two. Uh, just getting rid of the taunt. Going to go ahead and uh, just finish off Stormtrooper first uh, because on his basic right he can apply there on your general can all be uh, exposed and then that can you know do quite a lot of damage then we don't, because of all the health we have on our guys that's why I like to take him out first going after Imperial officer and now we can just basically hit autoplay at this point and we should be good to go to head into our next mission which is the other generic light side mission on Kashyyyk and for this one I'm using Ray uh, Jedi Training. Uh, now I used to use uh, here actually 3PO and Chewie because he's a droid as well which allows you to get enough turn meter if you do mod your team for speed to go first. Uh, here I wasn't quite able to go first um, so it uh, could be a bit of a danger that they finish somebody off before you get a turn. Uh, but now maybe um, that I do will have Chopper at Relic 8 for the next mission on Lathol. Maybe Chopper will be there as the droid, uh, the last one in there, just to give us enough turn meter to get through this mission. I just want to show you that you can get it done as well with this kind of squad. And we'll just keep going here. Gotta watch out there uh, for the Imperial Probe Droid so it doesn't self-destruct. Finishing off and we're already into the next wave. Uh, the good thing about uh, Ray Jedi training, uh, she's got the ability that lands uh, healing immunity, which obviously stops their healing and everything. And obviously the turn meter here train is unreal because of all the exposes. We are gaining turn meter, they are losing turn meter. Uh, you can keep them stun locked, ability blocked. And that's what I'm just kind of doing here, uh, spreading those stuns and ability blocks and just taking these guys out down one at a time. They're not even getting a single turn here. Once Ray and her squad of droids, they do get rolling. And we've just got uh, one more fleet before uh, we jump onto as well Zepho to finish this video off. Okay, now this mission feels like it's it's more difficult than it should be, right? We are at the end of the day using profundity, but these guys are quite durable. They hit pretty hard. So it really is a race to the ultimate. I'm um, trying to get uh, Scythe down if I can, but they're resisting everything as they mostly do in all these fleet missions. 
it seems like some of these fleet missions here in territory battles especially in the dark side have kind of be, been over tuned a little bit uh, but hey we just have to do do what we can uh, okay oh did Scythe almost heal up completely anyway let's get those stacks of formation off him uh, if only Falcon would assist I all right, now we got a, a mark over there. Luckily, with profundity, it prevents termiter manipulation. Uh, so whenever they do dodge, they actually don't feed termiter to their capital ship. Finally, was able to get side down. Can use formation, assault formation, uh, to reset our cooldowns and boost the damage. Uh, we go, we got there, ultimate, and that's it. So a bit of a slow start out of the gate, but once you get rolling, hopefully it's not going to be too difficult. And time to head over to our last planet for this video, which is FO, the bonus planet. And we are going to go ahead and kick off here uh, with special missions for the clones. So I'm using uh, the 501st clones with Captain Rex. Uh, but I think Bad Batch work as well, or a mix of 501st and Bad Batch work. But I don't have Bad Batch at uh, Relic 7. Obviously, uh, you definitely will probably need their... Uh, echo and tech right for the days and stun and then it's how you can finish them off because the only way to defeat these guys is if they are stunned uh, so if you are using 501st to maximize um, obviously uh, the success rate I suggest putting some potency on echo so he's because uh, his aoe uh, can stun droids and these guys are tagged as droids um, that's why i think uh, here echo is a very nice addition with his aoe they're stunning and then aerial advantage there from Rex finishing these guys off. And second wave is a pretty straightforward affair. These guys are not doing that much damage. Just stay away uh, from the uh, Je Jedi, Jedi General because she can counter attack and then that's how she can work down your clones. Uh, so just keep uh, hitting Padawan until you get aerial advantage online and then you unleash the aerial advantage on General. She goes down and then you can just hit autoplay and you know wait for another air advantage uh, to go down then we have another kind of a special mission sort of ish with the requirements which requires you to use uh jedi knight cal in the leading slot now I do not have omicron uh, on his lead i do have it on his what is it whirlwind slam or something like that uh, which is kind of nice a little bit of protection covering protection up i guess uh, but i was completing this mission easily even before I had uh, that Omicron on him, but obviously if you do have lead on his, uh, uh, um, if you do have Omicron on his lead, this will be even easier. Uh, but you know, I was saying kind of territory battle Omicrons, uh, you know, are not really all that necessary. Uh, I just applied it on his uh, special, hoping that for the Seer uh, Junda mission there, I would not need to remod, but I still have to, unfortunately, Omicron does not guarantee you a win. Um, but otherwise, yeah, uh, I like to use Shakti here so I can put a taunt over on Luke. Uh, let's see if we can get uh, some turn meter for the team. Um, we go, increase cooldowns. Unfortunately, uh, one of the Perch Troopers already was not critically hit, so was able to use a special ability. Uh, okay, we'll just keep going. Literally, I never lose anybody in this mission, but just usually when I record, record I always get the worst RNG. Anyway, let's see if we can still pull this off <laughs> with the, without Jedi Knight Cal. Uh, I think with second sister down, uh, yeah, these guys uh, don't have as much damage anymore. So we should be able to still pull this one off. <laughs> Come on, finish him. There we go. Got him down and we are ready to move uh, on to the next one, which is just a generic light side one. And for this one, uh, I have uh, Leia left, so let me just go ahead and do that. And these guys hit pretty hard, uh, especially the droid uh, boss. Um, he hits pretty hard, but obviously you cannot defeat the uh, the their leader, Bro what is it, Brood Droid Captain, um, until you defeat the other two droids. So you have to defeat them first. Um, they both have like four stacks, so you have to burn through them a, a few times actually before you can get something going um so try to keep their stuns uh on, on the droids if you can just so you can a little bit reduce the damage heading your way there uh, we go got a stun over there now uh, let's go ahead and unload an aoe come on laia you've got this you've got this come on there we go 
all right ultimate coming our way so let's go ahead and unload it here just to slow down these guys uh, let's see if we can defeat somebody to get the revive oh no we didn't defeat anybody okay Oof. all right let's then finish this off quickly there we go perfect and let's head into the second wave where again we are uh, facing these uh, droid guardians uh, let's go ahead and do an aoe so same thing as with the clone mission they have to be stunned so we can defeat them luckily uh here we do have stun uh, on dragon's basic okay all right okay sure we'll just keep going there we go all right so we've got this guy down let's go ahead finish him off while he's stunned now we go Drogon here uh, wrecking everybody with his stuns. <laughs> so basically I never got back uh, my two other guys that got defeated in wave one. But we're still able to complete. And uh, we've got the final ground mission. Uh, with this one is for the Unaligned Force users. Uh, so this one I think you pretty much need, need, to ray, need ray lead. I think when I tried with uh, Seer lead did not work. Um, maybe if it would be a mix zone that you could bring in, uh, you know, Malakas or Maul or something, maybe, maybe the Seer Lead could work, but because it's light side only, you basically do need a ray here. Now this team does not have a whole lot of damage, so it do, does take a while to burn through it. You can see these guys are very tanky. Each of them can eat up a couple of whirlwinds before they go down. Same as in the old battles, try to focus down if you can uh, the Perch Troopers, because they are the biggest damage dealers here. Okay, so you can see so far so good. Whirlwind to the face, but Trooper was like, eh, barely a scratch, ate up another Whirlwind <laughs> before I was finally able to finish him off. Okay, now we're just down to these guys. Alright, okay, perfect. And now what you can do is here, just take your time uh, for defeating Stormtrooper Commando. Uh, keep healing Ray up, keep pumping lifeblood. Uh, so then you can build up uh, enough bonus protection to survive the next wave because oh boy uh, the ATST next one is really really deadly so make sure you've got your ultimate charge up and ready to go so you can survive the opening barrage here uh, barely scratch there yeah just head into ultimate because lots of big hits heading your way there we go we're able to eat them up uh, sure just give me some tenacity down i guess i don't know it's not like it'll do a whole lot ultimate barely a scratch a whirlwind barely a scratch <laughs> all right here we go just speeding up the footage here um also that big hit from seer won't do a whole lot uh, to atst because it's obviously immune to health base uh, damage head already into another ultimate so this should be able to uh, finish it off oh well Falkram uh, took here the glory with the final blow and we just need to do the fleet mission now this fleet mission is kind of tricky um, because I think whenever like what we use a special ability uh, we increase the cooldowns of the reinforcements something like that so it's a little bit tricky to deal with and bus droids really get uh, through to you uh, quickly but luckily there with Marauder we can put Anakin there instead so they don't go after Anakin and we'll just keep going all right, almost got Hyena down. Unfortunately, did not finish off Hyena Bomber, so it got now buzzes on everybody. Uh, sure, um, I guess just give me some unending loyalty so we can throw another turn. Oh boy, all right, get Hyena out. There we go. Hyena's down, but we still have two vol uh, Vulture Droids to go through. Again, as you can see, no reinforcements uh, because I was using my specials uh, with the capital ship. But now that I did use basic on the next turn, I will be able to bring in Plo. Just need to survive. Uh. All right, fine. Finish him. There we go. All right. Um. Mm. Okay. Let's go ahead and I guess bring in Plo. All right, and we can put a taunt on Plo. Okay. So this is gonna be Marauder carrying the battle. It seems that's how it usually ends up. All right, that's fine. We ate up those <laughs> pass droids. Uh, sure, let's just go ahead and unload the ultimate. There we go. Finish him. Hey, there we go. Marauder there for the win. What? What? What happened? I finished off the last vulture droid. Then the summon disappeared. But 
the battle should be over? What? Surely this is not working as intended. This is so weird. Alright, well, we'll just keep going, I guess. Hopefully we can take care of this Hyena Bomber. Uh, what do we got for reinforcements? Mm. I don't know. Yeah, I'll just bring in Ahsoka, try to bring in some damage, I guess, onto the field. So let's go ahead and dispel the shield disruption. Now they bring in another Vulture Droid. Oh boy. Oh man. Come on, big hit. Ooh, almost got him, almost got him. Hit back, hit back. There we go, we got a, a Hyena Bomber down. Now we just have to get through the Vulture Droid. Hopefully this time uh, they don't do the same trick where we defeat the Vulture Droid, they get a summon and, or something, I don't know, that was so weird. Okay, there we go, we got a summon again, oh boy, alright. Mm. Hmm. Okay, let's bring in, I guess, do we bring in tank or no, let's bring in fives, we need damage. Give me target locked, perfect, hit him back, hit him again. Hit him again. Man, this is so weird uh, with this um, summon buzz droids. Anyway, I made it through and that's the important bit. And there you go, guys. Uh, this now completes uh, the full playthrough, the full clear uh, of Sector 3 uh, for me. Hopefully the video was useful and helpful just showing you how I spread my roster just to be able to complete uh, entire Sector 3. I guess hypothetically if I would be doing it in a day but realistically, uh, I think we do uh, Dathomir and Tatooine uh, on day 3, and then we do Kashyyyk on day 5, and then Zepho like on day 5 slash day 6. Um, so, you know, I could a little bit spread out my roster a bit differently, but I wanted to do it in a way that, you know, for the future proofing, if you do want to do it in a single day, that's how you can build out your teams to go ahead and complete this. Okay guys, uh, thank you for watching, I'll see you in the next one, but until then, have fun, enjoy life, and may the RNG be with you, my friends.